Hi again, welcome in here to UCFAthletics.com as it is your source for all women's basketball as it is Coach's Corner, that Coach Joy Williams. I am Scott Adams as Coach, one of the road trips now in the books, an extended road trip for ladies as it was cold. It was really cold this past week as Huntington, then East Carolina, but some of our ladies getting to see snow for the first time. That was pretty neat. You know, we uh, had a couple kids that had never seen snow, so it's always fun to see their reaction to it, but it was very, very cold. It was cold when we left Orlando, so you know it was going to be cold uh, in West Virginia and East Carolina, but you know, road trip is done. Glad to be back home, so we'll see if we can get, get better here at home. Well, Coach, we'll talk about those two games coming up here this week from the UCF Arena, but let's take a quick look back to last week on the road there in Huntington, taking on a Marshall Thundering Herd team and then taking on East Carolina, and I thought from one game to the next there from West Era, from Marshall to then East Carolina, we performed better there in that ECU game, a little bit more consistent level, but still the turnover bug really, really biting us. Yeah, turnovers, Scott, you know, I, I don't know how we can describe that, but it, it's really hurt us, you know, because we, we did a pretty decent job starting the game at East Carolina, our intensity defensively, but not taking care of the ball on offense will kill you every time because they're, they're very talented. They make teams pay um, when they make mistakes, and that's what they did to us. I mean, they... Um, Essentially, they scored on, on our turnovers, and we weren't able to capitalize on theirs. So it was very disappointing, you know, the road trip for us. But again, a lot of points that we can learn from and hopefully use those to our advantage this weekend. Coach, we talked about it last week, going out on the road to start conference season, a little bit different than the past two years. And teams were gunning for us. I mean, when you win the conference championship, rightfully so, the next year, teams are going to take aim at you. And I remember reading the paper there in West Virginia there the morning prior. That was their, their biggest weekend that they had circled, taking on UCF and then their big uh, uh, push to, to get their attendance mark. Yeah, it, it is. And that's what our kids, I don't know if, if we really, really understand that yet, is that teams are going to play uh, pretty much their best basketball at that point. You know, we're, early, we're still young in the conference season, but teams are really going to be excited to play against us. And, I don't think our team really fully understands that, you know, having one as sophomores and freshmen, that's the process that we're going through right now. It's part of the learning process is how to handle success and how to come out every night and, and get off to a good start and have to play for 40 minutes because teams are not going to quit. Coach, one other note before we take a look at uh, our upcoming opponents, it seems over these past several games, not just the past two conference games, but foul trouble there with Emma Cannon there early on in the game where it almost handcuffs our team as to what we really want to try to do. Yeah, it's, it's uh, disappointing, Scott. You know, I think both of those games, Emma had two fouls within the first five or six minutes. And, you know, it really, like you said, it, it really hurts what we want to be able to do. We've got to adjust and change some things. And, um, you know, it just it's unfortunate. But she's got to do a better job of really figuring out how the referees are calling the games and just adjust. You know, they're going to call it. And so there's absolutely nothing we can do about that. We, we can't control that. But um, she's just got to be a little bit more disciplined and, and not some of those fouls, you know, I think we can eliminate well, Coach, this weekend looking to get back to even in the conference race is on Friday night from the UCF Arena. We'll be taking on the Memphis Tigers, a team that we had some success against from a year ago, but they've got one of the leading scorers in Conference USA basketballs earlier this year. She put up 49 points, Coach. She did, and, and Brittany Carter certainly is a very, very talented player. Um, I remember her from high school and just extremely talented and scored in a lot of different ways. And, She's got a good supporting cast. You know, Alex Winchell is shooting the ball very well, the point guard, and um, very athletic perimeter players. The post players are big and strong, and they have a complementary group. So, you know, they're going to be a lot better. And, again, they're, they're hungry. They were young last year, um, and they're going to come in excited to play at UCF. Coach, and, and this is more than just one reason, coming home to play games where we need some victories here, but at the same time a big weekend because we've got the big push there on Sunday, trying to break that attendance mark as the 10K Gold Rush. 5 o'clock national television should be rocking and rolling as we've got a lot of entertaining things going on for fans to come in and see the UCF UAB game at 5 o'clock. We're excited about that. You know, we want to really grow women's basketball here at UCF and in this community, and it's important for our fans to, to – come out and see us and it's important for us to have events like this where we can promote different things and have them come out and, and really see how they like it, get a chance to watch us play and um, like you said it'll be a national audience, a chance for us to show off our facilities and, and showcase the things that we have at UCF and hopefully we can top that off with a win. You know UAB is off to a great start at 2-0 and uh, they're, one of their freshmen is actually at the top of the league scoring wise so you know we are, you know we got two tough games this week, we're going to be challenged greatly. Um, but, you know, Audra has her team playing real well, and so it's going to be a big challenge for us. 
First 500 fans in the door getting free t uh, shirts. And then also, Coach, this would have been nice when I was going to school a $1,500 scholarship that students might be able to have a chance to win. Yeah, that's, you know, our administration decided to do that. And we hope that students will come out and support us and have a chance to win. You mentioned some of those freshmen there for UAB as really they step in from the high school level to the collegiate level, performing at a high level, and maybe UAB a surprise team coming into this season. Well, I think, um, you know, I, talking to Coach Smith in the offseason, she was very excited about her team. She knew they were going to be young, and, um, but they're talented. And I, and I think, you know, her point guard, Harris, is a kid who can score in a lot of ways and I think is averaging 21 a game right now coming off the bench. So she's doing a phenomenal job. But kind of reminds me of, you know, when our team was young last year and, and you have high expectations and you know they can perform, it's just a matter of how quickly they'll adjust. So they seem to be adjusting pretty quickly. And they've got some good leadership with Peterson and – um, Tamika Dukes, um, returning player, so they've got a good balance. Coach, well, what do you want to see from your ball club in these two games? I know we've talked about maybe trying to garner that consistency for two complete halves. We saw Chelsea Wiley maybe come alive there in that last game. That's maybe the spark that, that we really need offensively to kind of get her rolling where she was one of the conference's best from a year ago. Yeah, I think, well, that's, that's it in a nutshell is consistency in, in all aspects. I mean, we've got to take care of the basketball, and that's – between consistency and taking care of the ball, I think if we can do those two things, we'll be in good shape. Um, again, we've got you know some players that Chelsea has played well the last couple games, and then we've had people that have not. So I think if we can get everybody on the same page and going in the right direction, we'll be in good shape. Two games this week for the UCF Knights, as on Friday at 7 o'clock, the Memphis Tigers come to town. And then the big game, the 10K Gold Rush, on Sunday afternoon from the UCF Arena as the Knights will be taking on the UAB Blazers national television as we're hoping to get tons of Knight fans out there. And Coach, before we get out of here, I know this past week off the basketball floor, some of our ladies as well as some of our coaches got a chance to go out there to the Florida Hospital Children's Center to really, uh, you know, help out there and, and lift some spirits. Yeah, that's always important. You know, we try to do a lot of community service work and, you know, especially now, you know, our team is, we, we would like to have more wins and, Sometimes you kind of get down about that, but when you do things like that, Scott, it really helps you realize that this is a game, and there are so many people, and especially so many children, that wish they could get out and play basketball, and it, it helps our kids really see how fortunate they are. And, you know, we go do that. I think Coach Locke said it, that, that we go do that sometimes to help other people, but they help us more than we realize. They, you know, we come away feeling a lot better than when we went there. So our kids had a great time. The coaches had a great time. And, um, I'm just glad that we were able to do that. A little rock band was going on from yeah. what I hear. Yeah. What would be your song, Coach? What would you play? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not a rocker, so, <laughs> you know, I like jazz, so. All right, Coach. Well, good luck to your basketball club this weekend as a pair of Conference USA games as we're in the midst. Thank you. That is head coach Joy Williams. I'm Scott Adams. You've been watching Coach's Corner right here on UCFAthletics.com.